Hello, and welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Total Geek Live with you. It's Baltimore. It's Danny. It's Guy and Kaiser. And we've got a treat for you. So sit back, get some Saturday Morning Cartoons cereal ready, and let's go. <sighs> Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries is my jam. It's a pretty good jam to have. Mm-hmm. And not strawberry. What do you again. have? What do you have, Kaiser? I have frosted <laughs> mini wheats. <laughs> is it for the kid or the adult of you that you find this pleasing? <laughs> I love frosted no, mini wheats as a child. <laughs> as, are you going to morph into a baby with a beard? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know this now. <laughs> are you saying you chose to eat adult cereal as a child? I did. I loved Shame life. On you. Shame loved... on you. I'm done explaining so much. Great nuts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I Man. Did, I, did I, I ruin had... the episode because of my child <laughs> Saturday morning cartoon watching cereal? <laughs> I, I will tell you that I am judging you. Oh. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> if not that, it was mucilix or cream of Man, did you... <laughs> My multo <laughs> meal. <laughs> I mean, I guess you were regular as a kid, so that's nice. That's a benefit. Yeah. I'll say it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're acting like kids now. <laughs> right frame of mind. Oh, yes. <laughs> So we're here talking about Saturday morning cartoons, what our favorite was, what we loved about them, all our experiences with them. And for me, I didn't have a lot of uh, TV experience as I was growing up. The only time I could actually watch TV and have control of the whole thing was Saturday morning. And I could watch cartoons from whenever I woke up and they started, which was like 7, 8 o'clock, until about noon. And that was my time. My time. I could watch <laughs> all the cartoons on three channels. Um, so I made the most of it. Flip, flip, with my cereal, my strawberry milk. Oh, yeah. Bow, bow. I loved all of my cartoons. Um, and that was, that was my, like, that was my thing. That was the only time I could really, like, enjoy the TV and not have to worry about my sister wanting to watch something or my parents wanting to educate me on other things. You know? <laughs> I see they yeah. stuck with you. Like Mutual of Omaha. <laughs> yeah. And this was back <laughs> in the time when Saturday morning cartoons was an event. Absolutely. It was yeah. something you looked forward to all week. Mm -hmm. yep. you, there was, was no I... all cartoon all the time TV you know, stations or yep. internet <laughs> You know, to yeah. go or some streaming channel. Netflix Kids didn't exist. You either watched nope. them after school or you watched them Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. and if you slept in, you missed it. You missed it. Well, yeah. and then Saturday morning was when all the new stuff was coming on. Because I think a afternoon stuff was mainly repeats or, so no, or something. No, it was totally run. different programming. Programming, okay. It was yeah. like Transformers and G.I. Joe level cartoons at that point. Uh, but I didn't have those channels. I only had three channels. So I, the only thing I could watch was Saturday morning cartoons because I couldn't watch anything yeah. unless I was at a friend's house. Right. Well, which well. three channels did you get? <clears throat> ABC, CBS, and NBC. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, I got 11 too, but... Well, that was CBS, or wasn't it? NBC no, was CBS now. was four, NBC was five, and ABC was eight. Oh, Because okay. Fox didn't exist when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Correct. Until the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, when we were kids, it was it. And, yeah, and I, I, I'm with Baltimore. I mean, we had one TV in the living room. Yeah, one TV. That was, that was it. That was the mm -hmm. one TV we had, and it was just a ma magical experience to be able to have since – Pretty much, that's the only thing that's on TV at that time. Well, then, I got yep. control of it. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. my parents were, you know, reading the newspaper, drinking coffee, or and and you know, not not into cartoons at all. So, boom, <laughs> I'm right there in my bing bag chair, sitting there with my bowl of cereal and watching everything that I could. I was so excited, so oh, yeah. so excited. 
and it it was a big deal. I mean, I remember like on ABC they would have like fall preview nights for the yes. cartoons coming out for the season. Yes, I mean, it was a big deal, and it was like, yeah, if, if you slept in or you had to go do a God forbid an errand. You missed it. it. There wasn't like you could go get the season collected on DVD a couple mm-hmm. months later. It was uh, you were lucky if anything came out at all on VHS like oh, yeah. years down the line or if at all. It was like you were there and you had to see it or you missed it, and there was no go backs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, for sure. you might get an episode or two on VHS. Yeah, like one or two, mm-hmm. and that was it. But, no, but not, the not the entire season. No. no. Mm-hmm. Nope. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, yeah, it's like I remember getting up in the morning and like sitting in front and going to my parents' room because they had a TV in their room and sitting in front of their massive twenty-seven inch TV screen <laughs> and just sitting on the floor, slack jawed, watching cartoons. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to lay on the floor with my cereal and watch cartoons right now. Yeah. The old wooden TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The pull knob. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Car hooked up on the side. Um, so I guess let's just get into the shows themselves, because that, that's that's the real fun of it. What were some of your personal favorites? Uh, Danny? Oh, Danny. Okay. <laughs> I'm always going to you, because you're always on, like, the farthest on my screen. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I loved Dungeons and Dragons. It yes. was an absolute amazing. The music that they used for it was so memorable. The opening scene when the kids are in the amusement park, and that's kind of the 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 roller coaster that they go on. The Dungeons and Ma- Dragons ride. The uh, you know, it's actually a portal into a whole other realm and everything, and and just you know, all the cool powers and 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 stuff that they got the dungeon master gave them each a, a specific item and that you know they became a specific thing within the dungeon dragons whether you were a thief or or the cavalier or, or the ranger or whatever and i mean i remember going out like the very first time i ever saw it just immediately going out outside afterwards and i think i was so excited that i just forgot about any other kind of cartoon that was <laughs> coming on and finding a stick that looked like a bow so I could be that elect- a power, whatever, energy bow and arrow thing that the- that Rick the Ranger uh, had. It was amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That was a surprisingly dark show in some ways. I mean, it's because it's like the Dungeon Master always gave him clues, but never exactly got them home. And I think a lot of that was for his own gain. And yeah. there was that one episode, The Dragon's Graveyard, where he's like, hello, children. Today, I think you have a way. So how do we kill Venger? <laughs> oh, well, this changes things. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Hell>, crap. <laughs> it's like... Right, and and it it was it it really was a more of an adult cartoon, for, mm-hmm. even though we're kids watching it because you know you if you and I did, the thing about Saturday morning cartoons I never got to see the whole series mm-hmm. because yeah for some reason they kept repeating the episode where Eric turns into the Frogman thing yeah that was like the most repeated episode I'd ever seen of that. <laughs> Yep. And I hated that episode because I saw it about 50 times. <laughs> so I never really got to until, you know, I'm older and I saw the, uh, got it on DVD and saw the series that, you know, you find out that Venger is Dungeon Master's son. Mm-hmm. And, oh, you know, know there's, there's this whole, well, you didn't? Oh, yeah, no, man. There's no this, whole, oh, this whole, no. This is whole awkward, thing yeah. where yes, it is awkward. <laughs> where you know he dungeon dungeon masters were lying on the children to kind of help him get his son back. Um, you know, and that's that's the whole thing about you know that he didn't want them to kill Venger. It's kind of a, he wanted to redeem his son and and all that. So I mean, there's a whole lot of more heavy adult themes in there than um, than well, they, when I was. Too. He, he shouldn't have named his son Venger if he didn't want him to be a bad guy. <laughs> his first name was Steve. 
Oh. Yeah, Steve, Steve Venture. He thought he was going to be a quarterback for, like, you know, the Cowboys or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. My... Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, Guy, what's, what's one of your favorites? Oh, well, I've got a couple, but I think the one that, like, again, I, I think when you talked about going outside and, like, wanting to be that instantly, mm-hmm. uh, real Ghostbusters. Oh, oh my God! I was such a Ghostbusters fanatic. In fact, I even have my uh, Ecto One uh, from Real Ghostbusters still back there from my early days. Nice. Uh, and and like, I mean, the first two or three seasons were amazing because it's like they really capture the tone of the, feel of, um, the movie. Oh, hold on. Because yeah, after these messages, we'll be right back. Mad boys, mad boys, mad boys. Mad balls, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, they're gross, funny, yucky, sick. Mad There's eight, so you can take your pick. Mm-hmm. We throw, catch, it's uh oh fun. There's so much gross in every one. Freaky fun is what they're for. Mad There's so much ugly, so much more. Gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball. Mad we play with a mad ball. Mad we ball. play with a mad ball. Mad, mad ball. ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. Yeah, it's like because it kept the scary elements and it kept the funny elements, but it wasn't like like silly slapstick. It was like sarcastic funny. I mean, Lorenzo Music, yeah. who did uh, Garfield, did Peter Venkman, and he was just yes, cynically sarcastic. And I just loved that as a child. And what, what's funny is, um, you know, because like Bill Murray got involved with that, and he didn't want anyone to sound like him. Although later on, they got Dave Coulier from Full House to be him. Because uh, he didn't sound enough, but then Bill Murray went off and did Garfield in the movie, so like it was all this weird turnaround thing. But yeah, the first two or three seasons of Ghostbusters were amazing. It's like the sweet old lady that they went to, and then Peter got possessed, and like she was just like this horrible demon inside that was trying to let all the ghosts out of the containment unit. Mm-hmm. Or they went up against Cthulhu. Yeah. Or Sam Hain. Sam Hain? Oh, yeah. I Sam remember Hain. Sam Hain, yeah. Uh, the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman, because Egon was afraid. I mean, that was the first time I ever saw Egon afraid of something. Yeah. Um, and that was so memorable, the Boogeyman episode. Plus, I liked the, the way the Boogeyman, his hair looked, and he had a big head with a little body kind of thing. Yeah, it wasn't slapstick humor. It was sarcastic humor, and that totally resonated with me. <laughs> right? Uh, imagine that. <laughs> Um, uh, you don't say. No. Um, but yeah, then of course, like they uh, the parent standards got involved with Ghostbusters, and like season four on, it got super slapsticky. And then like they made Slimer the forefront of everything, and it's like he works in small doses. It's just the show. Yeah. Went, yeah. After like he took over. Uh, what about you, John? What were what was one of your favorites? Oh man, I loved I loved cars and vehicles and stuff as a kid so i loved like pole position if it had to do with video games or cars or giant robots Mm -hmm. or i I loved cartoons but uh pole position i love pole position two of those um i love the talking little car faces that they wheels and roadie wheels and roadie yes yep um They were kind of so cool, kind of sarcastic and mean too, weren't they? They were. Yeah, yeah well, I think they, they provided a lot of snark. Yeah, I think. Uh, one I was more correctly. chill, and the other one was a little bit more high strung. Yeah, and then you'll laugh at me, but I really liked Turbo Team. It was just so bizarre. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my Turbo Team face. Like, I God. mean, I still remember. There's this episode where he was driving and he crashed into this ice cream stand and turned back into a guy, <laughs> the team, and uh-huh. like the ice cream shop that his girlfriend worked at or something. It I was like, remember. yes, yeah, yeah. and I'm like. Yeah drama oh my gosh she's gonna find out he's a car you know <laughs> awkward i mean could you imagine living your life like that you're at a restaurant and you spill soup on your pants and all of a sudden you just take out the table and your date right. um <laughs> it's a major date <laughs> um, yeah good thing axel foley wasn't around running around putting bananas in tailpipes 
But yeah, it was just so bizarre <laughs> that I kind of dug it, you know. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, was... I... lots and lots. Of... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Baltimore, how about you? Uh, so I loved. I mean, growing up, the cartoons were always just like about feeling good and fun and laughing and and being silly and enjoying it. So I would have to say Smurfs is probably my favorite Saturday morning cartoon. Um, but it was always just fun, fun. And I love that there was different characters and they had all these different personality types, you know, and there was clumsy, there was brainy, there was, you know, Joker and all those kind of smokes. Smoked. Smurf. <laughs> Smokes. <laughs> the hybrid snork babies. Uh, uh, and I just, I love that whole, like, they live in a little village and they all their kind of fun. And I used to draw little Smurfs and cut out little mushrooms for the houses. And I would Aww. play, you know, uh, on the ground, you know, make the little Smurf village. And then my sister would walk through them and destroy it all, of course. Um, <laughs> But I loved that. I loved Smurfs. I even loved, you know, when they had the little, you know, Smurfling there, too. They weren't so bad. Um, yeah, it was the girl, then, like, the, the Tasset. country bumpkin. Yeah, Tasset, the country yeah, one. Yeah. 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 yeah, And and they uh, came along with uh, Grandpa Smurf. Yeah, Grandma and Grandpa, yep. Yep, which um, I loved him. He was so yeah. cool. But, I, you know, like, other ones, I loved Shirt Tales. I loved, you know, uh, that whole living in a tree. I used to make little tree forts when I was watching that one and then I would go into the tr- into the tree to watch shirt tails um, and then there was a lot of reruns so I watched um, uh, banana Fl- banana split show uh, yes and then they had a cartoon on there a couple cartoons on there um, with the superheroes diaper man and all oh that. my god yeah, yeah. diaper yeah. man right yeah, was that the, the same was that, that was that... They were they were called the Mighty Heroes. Yeah, the the rope guy. And yeah, there was the Rope Man, mm-hmm. Diaper Man. Um, yeah. There's oh, the man. Clock. Cuckoo. Yes. Yeah, the cu- Cuckoo Clock guy. Yep. Oh my God, I totally forgot yeah. about them. I love yep. that yeah. show. And I, oh, I had no idea this. where I saw it, and I, and I couldn't, you know, contribute it to you know an actual show because there was no Mighty Heroes on things. It was part of you know. Of so, something else, yeah, right, so right. It's like because I think track it down, right. Because I think uh, I'm not. Because there's another one I remember, and I remember watching it at the same time, or it coming on around the same time, you know, in because it would show a couple of the cartoons yeah. all in a row. Um, and there was one with um, a, a possum. It was called Possible Possum. Yeah, and it and he he would just go, it's possible. It's possible, and I just remember that, and it was like a you know, bunch of animals, but they were hillbillies in yeah. you know in the Ozarks or whatever, and they would have adventures and kind of stuff, um, yeah. and it was kind of the same uh, animation style as Mighty Heroes and and that yeah. kind of stuff. But yeah, you never you don't re- remember as a kid like what show Kingdom, how it was yeah yeah, yeah what was the umbrella mm-hmm. connecting them all you like, know Rocky and Bullwinkle was a big umbrella. And yes. Right. So. Yes. Yes. Because with Rocky and, and Bullwinkle, you had yeah. the fractured fairy tales mm-hmm. and Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Um, then, along with you know everything, the adventures that Rocky and Bullwinkle actually had themselves. Was right. George of the Jungle in there? Uh, somewhere. Somewhere. I, I don't know if he was there or if that was a different. Yeah, because I would because like the same animation studio. One, yeah. Right. Because the thing about Han- especially Hanna Barbera, they would you know you would have Quick Draw McGraw, Snagglepuss, ah, Snagglepuss. Uh, and and Huckleberry Hound, and, and they would all have their own little single cartoon adventure kind of things, but it was all under like the Hanna Barbera show or, or oh, you yeah. know so- something like that. So it was it was a show, but then you had all these little bitty cartoons I- inside of it, and it was, that was- just so so awesome. Like, they went crazy and got like Laugh Olympics where they combined I everybody. Love yes, Laugh Olympics. Olympics. Yeah, that's I what I had, had on 
on the list of one of one of our uh, one of our nice kind viewers out there. Um, when we asked for feedback and all that, they put down Laugh Olympics, and I loved yeah. that. Yeah. Absolutely loved that. Great page. Great I feel page. remiss if you if we talk about cartoons, not mention superheroes. Um, right. You know, we have the Super Friends, Challenge of the Super Friends, Legends of the Super Friends. You know, all those iterations of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. You know, the Justice League. Uh, growing up and you know now when you know getting some of those collections you're like i just kind of thought it was one show yeah right. but it, it ended up being like four different shows over a 10 or 12 year period yeah um, and i had like Scooby -Doo. it was yeah i had no idea like as we yeah, were researching I didn't for this i was like i thought yeah. it was just super friends i yeah i thought it was one one show just right. called super friends because i remember you know there was a period when they had the wonder twins mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then yep. there was a period with um mindy, mindy no. and marvin mindy and yeah the stupid dog and the, Mar marvin oh. and the dog yeah and then i i could clearly see that those were two different style you know shows or whatever right. um but Spider-Man and his amazing friends, how great was that show? Yes. Uh, Classic 1980s Spider-Man. And it was, you know, like my first real cartoon introduction to the X-Men, which I mm -hmm. loved. You know, so that was really exciting and a, and a strange, um, you know, kind of cool co uh, collection of them. Because they had that one X-Men pilot, Pride of the X-Men, and it yep. never went anywhere. I mean, past that, which was unfortunate, because that was super cool, too. Oh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. good, yeah. <clears throat> but we did get the X-Men animated series, which was awesome. And all those theme songs, you know them all by heart. You could probably just burst out into any given one of them. Right. Gummy bears. I was bears. just about to say gummy bears. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bouncing Still. here and there and everywhere. High adventure. adventure that's beyond compare. Bear. They are the gummy bears. And then that last part, they are the gummy bears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. D Disney rocked those theme songs for their cartoons. Oh, that's yes, they did. Yes, they did. Because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. there was superheroes, and man, they really went with video games, too, especially like in the 80s, Pac-Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saturday yep. Supercade, you know, and that was like Hubert and Frogger and Pitfall, which was a home game, of course. And, and then, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Kong Jr. And Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, Pac-Man. Well, Pac-Man had, no had his Pac own Pac-Man had no plot, but God, I loved it. I did, too. And then, of course, like Captain N, the Game Master, which was like Dungeons & Dragons, normal kid being dragged into a new world, and I thought that was... Uh, super awesome. I think yeah. that's why I loved uh, Smash Brothers, uh, the game, so much. It was like Captain Especially when they started doing things like uh, Pit and Mega Man. I kept hoping that they would add Simon Belmont so I could relive Captain N. <laughs> oh, well, man. I mean, again, I did the same thing with Captain N that I did with Dungeons & Dragons. The first episode I saw it, I immediately took one of my controllers and put it Zap. on my belt, yep. and then I got my zapper, and I went outside and played and oh, pretended yeah. that I was Captain N. And I'm I, like, this is great. I took yeah. it a step further. I went to school with a controller as a belt. As a belt? Oh, wow. <laughs> because I was, okay. I was Captain N. Oh, <laughs> you were. Out, yeah. <laughs> I even I took the cord out of my zapper and completely ruined it, but just so of I could, just so I could no no Bluetooth it. back then. No. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. funny. I'm starting to get sucked back in because I've been doing research for all this, and I got sucked back in. I've been watching Captain N on YouTube, and it's like, man, they they had no attention to any of the the designs or anything. It was like somehow the creator knew of like Mother Brain. And Metroid, but had never heard of Samus. And I'm like, right. oh, okay. Uh, but, you know, it's like King Hippo was blue. And it's just, like, but yeah, it was super fun. And it's like uh, they had Dragon's Lair and then uh, just so many others. And they had a bunch, um, and then on another tangent, they had a bunch of live action uh, Saturday morning shows as well. Uh, especially Saved by the like Bell. Saved by the, oh God, yes, yeah, Saved by the Bell and all the many, many spinoffs of that. That was our, our, Introduction into preteen drama. Oh, yeah, yes. Drama. Especially when Jesse got so excited and then so scared. Yes. Uh, the bug <laughs> loose. The bug loose. They're in, in the air and everywhere. everywhere. Flying, flying high. high. Flying, flying high. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, Sid and Marty Croft, I mean, God, uh, there was Dr. Shrinker with Billy Barty. Uh, there was Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost. Loved Land of the Lost. Yep. Yeah, we had a lot a lot of feedback on Land of the Lost there. That was a pretty weird, scary... For me, it always... It, I feel like Land of the Lost, in my mind, always gets kind of jumbled up with Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if it's just, you know, like my weird childhood memory of, you know, combining the two of them at some point. Um, but I always kind of felt like the bad characters or the... The Slee Stacks. Slee Stacks. Slee yeah. Stacks. They do look like the Salurans, so, I mean, I can totally see that. Slee yeah. Stacka! Slee Stacka! I actually met uh, the actors who play Will and Holly at a Star Trek convention a few years back. They were super awesome. Okay, Very I thought nice. you'd say you, you met a Slee Stack, and I'm like... Hey, do you have someone dressed as a Slee Stack? So, we almost oh. there. Well, then it, did you take two crystals and psh, psh, together? Lisa Stacka, shut up, Chaka. <laughs> shut up, man. Shut your pie, old Chaka. I can't stand you. Yeah, man. Chaka. Oh. Good old but, Chaka. Yeah, but, God, they just, I mean, that was like such a, uh, a time because it's like they could turn cartoons or shows into anything. I remember, here's one from the old archives, Benji Max and the Alien Prince. Do you remember that? It Whoa. was like. It was, was it like Benji the dog? Benji the dog, and it was live action. Uh, and then this alien prince came down from another world, and Max was like his robot. And like they were stranded, and of course they befriended Benji as their Earth liaison. Okay. Are you sure it wasn't a... Right. No, it's a real thing. You, you didn't dream a, this up. A, a no, fever no, Benji, dream. Max, and the alien prince. Google it. Okay. I don't want to. I'm scared. Oh... <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, we also got some great things with Thundercats, mm-hmm. Teenage Mutant yes. Ninja Turtles, um, He-Man, obviously. Um, yep, the Tick. Uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks was always fun, and uh, the Chipettes. Uh, oh yes, the Chipettes. Yeah. I think I had a crush on one of them when um, I was a child. Yeah. Eleanor. Probably. Baby, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, we're we're coming clean on this one. Of all the Saturday morning cartoons, who did you have? A, which character did you have a crush on when you were younger? Uh, the the princess from Captain and the Game Master. Mine too, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With her that leg skirt. warmers. <laughs> yeah, she had leg warmers with a skirt. Yep. And that little, just, that little and that, ponytail. Yeah, the ponytail hair thing. Dude, so Princess Anna from Captain N, man. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. You two are strangely quiet. Well, Pippi I'm, Longstocking I'm was my first crush, so... Who? Pippi Longstocking. Ah. Well, they made a cartoon of that. Yeah. They did. Red hair, there you go. Yep. Strong, so. strong female characters. Oh. I don't know. My roots. Baltimore doesn't know. I don't know. I'm not sure I ever. I'm not sure I ever did. <laughs> there are cartoons. Why would I be crushing on them? <laughs> What's wrong with you people? I'm out. <laughs> Bunch of perverts. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, well, then I've got to, I've got to mention uh, a couple of these from um, – I took a list down from some of the feedback from our viewers um, when I posted on Facebook. And uh, one that they said and then one that popped in my head once they said the one that they said. So Star Blazers, um, phenomenal, phenomenal show. I was blown away when I was a kid at the spaceship that – because it kind of looked like a – this really cool, I don't know, USS flagship carrier kind of thing in outer space. And I remember that the body of it was a cannon, this big giant laser cannon um, that they would power up and fire. And that was one of my earliest introductions to Japanese animation, which everybody now we all call anime. Right. But back then it was just called Japanese animation. Um, and you have these really, really cool characters and just the scenery and 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 the the theme songs and and all of that. And then some of the mater- the source material, I mean, it's this is a cartoon, 
and for you know it's coming on Saturday morning for kids and all that. But the the storylines and stuff were a lot more depth and a lot more like Dungeons and Dragons was a lot more adult like. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's like with Voltron, which is one of my all time just yeah. favorite bar none. And the, the lion ones, as much as I love vehicles, I never got into the vehicle Voltron. Mm -hmm. Right. Enough. But well, um, like uh, Voltron and then like Robotech. Robotech. They, mm -hmm. they took these, these Japanese cartoons and kind of mashed them together and took pieces from other things and kind of made their own yeah. stories and cartoons for America, which I found very odd. Yes. It's like, why not just play the cartoon that they made? Why do you have to? <laughs> Power Rangers did that. Yeah. I, it's how crazy is it? Just. Yeah. yeah. What it, it's, it's, you know, it's like you, you try to think about it. It's like, did they, just not have the budget to go and just get the right voiceover and just. I think it was just cheaper to do it. Dub everything and yeah, because they nowadays they would they would just completely dub over what there was and then yeah give it to us. However, you know because everything the storyline's already there and the animations are everything's already made. We just gotta translate convert it. translate it. Yeah, so yeah, and there was stuff that I'd never really heard of. Um, giving uh, props to people who responded uh, mm -hmm. to some of our polls. Um, Ulysses 31. Yeah, guys, it's, 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 a, it's a bizarre, I'd never heard of it, and I, they had posted the intro, and it's like the like a future Greek society in space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. And it looked cool. It had a pretty cool theme song so jen loves yeah. that no yeah she loves that theme song it's like i hear that theme song often, more than you think <laughs> more than you'd really think you'd i'd hear it but i do yeah i'd never heard of it it's her greatest hit for one year <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah and so theme songs you mentioned they brought up these great theme songs oh theme now, songs for me, I mean, I've got tons. Cause I grew up, a lot of my favorite cartoons and stuff, I remember I was raised on, like, Underdog and Wacky Races and, you know, the uh, Dick Dastardly and the Flying Machines. Yep, you know, Stop the Pigeon. Yeah, Stop oh, the yeah. Pigeon. Stop, stop the, pigeon. the Pigeon. Yeah, because I had Dick Dastardly and Muttley. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Super Chicken. I mean, just these old, old, like, the old Felix the Cat and stuff, you know, I was kind of raised on that, but in the more 80s centered, because those, all those theme songs are great. To me, the best 80s is the kid video. Oh, yes. Yes. That is the best cartoon opening theme song. To me, I'd like to hear yours. And that was right. one of those live intro, a live action. Yeah, it was a live was action like, intro. Cartoon. It Cat felt like a little movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really was like a little a mini movie um, because you're kind of seeing what, you know, how they're getting into, um, what was the name of the world that they got? Video Land, wasn't Video it? Land Video Land or something? Land, yeah. 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 How they converted from, you know, being live action to cartoon and all that kind of stuff. And We and look like cartoons like cartoons yeah <laughs> yeah and yeah that i loved that theme song because it was you know it was 80s kind of pop rock yeah. and roll mm -hmm. thing and and it was amazing and amazing and i liked the show because even after the cartoon was over um in the credits you would get a nice little music video Oh, of yeah. another song, the, yeah. the only the only one I can ever remember was TLC, Tender Loving Care. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, man, great, great, great show. I I would say that would that would probably you know between Gummy Bears and and that yeah. that's like my favorites. That oh I would yeah, Gummy sing, Bears or Kid Video. Yeah, uh, but, there were a couple others like uh, Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs were some that were referenced with me. Uh, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Uh, one that I'm surprised you never haven't mentioned yet is Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah, I mean, I got into that 
I couldn't remember if that was Saturday morning or an afternoon <laughs> thing. Yeah. Uh, and that was that came out more ninety five ish. Yeah, yeah. High, high school. Kind of, yeah, we're kind of older by then. Although yeah. I, that's around when the Tick came out and the Animaniacs. Yeah, and Batman and, the animated series. Yeah, you know, that first episode with Man Bat that was amazing. Yep. Uh, you know, yeah. Some people, of course, give love to Space Ghost. And back before he was a TV show host. That's yeah, right. Play me to the desk, Zorak. <laughs> Captain K. Thundar the Tate. Barbarian. Which one? Do you remember Thundar the Barbarian? Oh yes, Herculoids too. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, those... yeah, those those were all Hanna Barbera, I think. Oh yeah, right. Hanna Barbera yeah. basically owned Saturday morning. It's and Captain it's Caveman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Captain Caveman. That whole phase where everybody it's became a... babies from Scooby Doo to Flintstones to the Muppets. <laughs> yeah, everybody was babies. Yeah, Every, everybody, everybody was children. Just, just shrink them. Yep. Just shrink them down. It's to everybody, you, Scooby Doo <clears throat> kids, the Scooby Doo. Yeah, Scooby Doo. Puppet name Scooby Doo. Flintstone kids, yeah. Muppet babies, of course. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, a lot of shows like blended in like live action and and animation. Um, but yeah, it, um, just it, it was so weird because I mean, they literally make cartoons out of everything. They they made Rubik's the Amazing Cube. Yes, my top five was one of my not top five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just sigh. <laughs> the the Vern yeah, and good. Shirley cartoon where they were like right. in boot in camp, office. yeah. That was yeah. I, I never knew about that. That was news to me until I mean, when you yeah, brought brought it up. I'm like the Happy Days gang. The happy Days were, hit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those were yeah. kind of uh, those were in my bottom my bottom yeah. five list. Like as much as I liked. The Happy Days. I watched the Vernon Shirley as a kid, but I didn't like the cartoons of them. Oh yeah, it's you know like... I the I loved Punky Brewster. I hated her cartoon. Oh, I loved the cartoon. Did you? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love Turbo Teen, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'll forgive you, but I'll I'll, I'll continue. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. What else? Yeah. What else? They have Silver um... Fox Go Bots. Yeah, oh, yeah. go bots. Um, one that just popped in my head was Galaxy Rangers. I love that they they had the the their little sheriff stars that they would push, and like each of them had superpowers and stuff. Um, I remember seeing one that I totally forgot about that um, somebody brought up in the list was Bionic Six. Yes, oh, yeah. I was just the going to say. Yeah, Bionic 6 was so bionic, Bionic 6. It was so cool. And I remember the toys were metal. They were heavy. Oh, yeah. They the were thing, heavy metal. They, they were, were heavy metal, metal man. Yeah. yeah. You know, Galaxy theme. Do you remember Galaxy High? Galaxy Where, High. Like, the oh, yes. And the jock and the yeah. rainy girl were taken to high school and their roles were reversed. So she was the popular one. And he just. And went, he, yep. Yeah. That no, was but, done by uh, Chris Columbus. Was it? Oh. It was. Chris Columbus did that. Did he really? He did. Wow. Do you remember, was it Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table? Where was the yes. Fo the, the football team that gets teletransported back into medieval England and they become King Arthur and the Knights he, of the Round Table? He, yes. They're oh, just wow. these yep. dumb team jocks. And, yep. Man. Such far-fetched plot things, but it just was, it just made for a great cartoons at that time man and it every was... movie uh back to the future bill and mm -hmm. ted team mm -hmm. yeah yes yeah. um god those were all cartoons i think each one of those lasted about a season each yeah uh, um... well yeah back to the future yeah because they followed with uh doc and and clara right yeah, oh, yeah they yeah, had yeah. the train with their kids and yeah, all the adventures yeah. that they yeah they would do my favorite was one of my other favorites, the obscure ones, were the completely mental misadventures of Ed Grimley. That's right, man. Oh, my God, that's I must right. say, and that's, that's no lie. Yep. That's because Martin Short is awesome. Count Floyd and all the children just hated his scary stories because they were <laughs> pathetic and went nowhere. <laughs> yes. Ooh, it was quite scary. <laughs> and they had Beetlejuice, too. Yeah. Oh, Beetlejuice. Oh, yes. Yeah. That one was pretty good. 
Yeah, yeah I like that one. Yeah. It was they very had enjoyable. CG commercials, like the early CG, and they had like commercials in between the show for all the little, like yeah. crazy, you know, Beetlejuice's uh, world products. And then one of the other really kind of fun things about Saturday morning cartoons were the weird commercials there. Mm -hmm. um, and then they would have the break. They would have like the four claymation people. And they say yes. absolute messages, and then they oh, bend over, back. switch heads, right. <laughs> right back. We'll be right back. Yep. Or the fire hydrant and the dog, oh, yeah. and the fire hydrant. Oh, I'll be yeah. right back. Yeah. After these messages, we'll be right back. Back when the California the raisins were hydrant. a thing. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then how how did I know that? my cartoons were coming to an end for the day, the Soul Train show. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. Soul yeah. Train. And I would, I, and the very first time that I ever saw it, I saw a cartoon train coming along, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's 12, <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. This is still going. <laughs> and I still get a cartoon, and then there goes bye-bye, the Soul Train, and there's the announcer, and like I see all these people just dancing, and I'm like, click. Like, yeah. <laughs> I watch Soul Train after my cartoons. Really? Yeah. I remember Man. they with try to educate Cordelius. us with like I remember they try to educate us with like news bits. <laughs> it's like yeah, hey look or... it's Spoofer and now they're shootings in Uganda or whatever. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they shot Foofer? <laughs> what was your if it came on, you'd have to absolutely have to turn it off or switch to another cartoon. Oh. For me, that was the Snorks. You know what? I and did not like the Snorks. Sorry. I, I yeah. love the Smurfs. They were a cheap knockoff. As yeah. a child, I, I saw exactly right through. Ex right saw through. through the veil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As clear as the water they breathed. That's right. What about you, Danny? Oh, man, you know, I don't remember what I put. I'm going to have to look it up because I don't remember what I put. What did my, what, my, my top five, bottom five, my bottom five must have been just so bad that it wasn't memorable enough for me. Because <laughs> um, I'm like, I know one that I could say, but it's not the worst it, one. You would it's have. not the worst one. Yeah. Well, while you're doing so, that, I, I yeah. remember I also love, do you remember the wrestling it's Hulk like Hulk Hogan's Hogan's rock, rock and roll, rock and wrestling. I oh, love that cartoon. Yes. I, I, Mr. T, too. Yes, Mr. T had one. Yeah, the I remember I remember the Hulk Hogan one, and then I remember Wolfman Jack, the yes. disc jockey, had had one, too, because I loved the theme song. Wolfman Rock, 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 Rock TV. And he had, like, this crazy parrot and stuff. Oh, it was so cool. Was there so, an so A-Team cool. one? Come, no, um, but there was Mr. T and the T-Force. Yeah, Mr. T and, and the T-Force. He had all those Olympic kids that he hung out with. Because they right. had kid sidekicks. It was like a thing. <laughs> right? Totally normal for a bunch of kids to be hanging out with an adult. Well, the but, Transformers uh, hung out with a bunch of little kids. I mean... Well, they hung out with the kid and his dad, so, you know. Okay, the one, this is my number, well, this I think, because I put it at the very top of my bottom five, Ghostbusters, dude. It was not. Filmation. Yeah, it was Filmation. And it was based on that awful 1975 movie where it's those two guys and a gorilla, and they're like busting ghosts. And, oh, man, I, because I remember it coming on before the real Ghostbusters. Like, I saw commercials for it and everything. And I'm like, oh, it's Ghostbusters. They made, they're making a cartoon based on one of my favorite movies. Yeah. I'm so excited. And then I watch it and it's not, I'm like, where's, where, where are my, where are my guys at? Where, where, where are they at? I was, I, was, I was fooled too and yeah. very upset. Totally upset. I mean, I was like, not just, Ten min, ten seconds into it, and I'm like, done. I'm I'm so mad. And you know, at that point, I like I didn't know that they were coming out with the real Ghostbusters because these guys kind of got the the jump on it, or at least they, for me, they did. Like, they the, they 
they had the license. They knew that the the name Ghostbusters was hot. They knew exactly what they were doing uh-huh. when they launched it. That yeah. the sucker kids like us are stupid parents. That oh, Ghostbusters. Oh, my oh, kids it's like the same thing. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. man, it made me it's so so mad. Yeah. I think one of my least favorites was Hammer Man, based <laughs> off the Adventures of MC Hammer. Uh, yeah. Hammer it? Man, Hammer, and it was like, I remember because it's like I don't. It was like a chore getting through his theme song. I've seen shorter biographies on Wikipedia. I mean, it like tells his whole life story about how how Stanley gets some magical shoes and becomes Hammer Man. And I remember the animation was atrocious. And I didn't even dislike uh, MC Hammer back then. I just I was like, I, I can't. <laughs> it's just not for me. Oh, uh, it's just yeah. so bad. Um, I can't believe we haven't mentioned Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> no, that's oh, horrible. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I was there. I watched it every weekend. I loved it. I, you know, and I got sad when it came time. You knew when the show was over because he went over to flip the switch so his little scooter would come out. And yeah, you're you're just like, ah, oh, dang, man, the show went by too fast. I screamed at the top of my lungs when anybody said the secret word of the day. And yeah. and Paul Rubens was such a great he he knew good talent. Yeah. When when he saw it because if you look, people, you go back and you watch an episode You've got Lawrence Fishburne on that show. Rita, the mail carrier, she is on. She was on Law and Order or one of one of those big, big, big shows for a very, very long time. And um, the great uh, comedian who uh, who passed away, Phil Hartman. Oh yeah. Um, like- he he was the Captain Carl on it. Um, I mean, great, great talent. For a kid's show. Oh, well, yeah. That's like Thomas the Tank Engine had like Ringo Starr and George Carlin. George Carlin. I know. <laughs> I know. I remember, I wonder... remember um, Pee Wee's Playhouse getting a lot of stuff past the radar, though. I remember like oh. he was doing out groceries and went, milk lemonade around the corner, fudge is made. <laughs> and it's like, damn, dude. <laughs> you know, he did actually drop that one in there. He dropped a couple in there. He had some real sexual innuendos and things like that. Right, but it's yeah. like oh, adult yeah. stuff, and it was like, kids wouldn't get that. Right. Like, yeah. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, it was greatness. Absolute greatness. And, you know, <clears throat> there, there were other classics, you, you know, I mean, one that's, you know, certainly not popular now, uh, but, you know, from, from a, like a writing standpoint, and certainly had good morals at the time was fat albert yeah fat albert that, and the cosby was, kids that was another well done one by filmation and and uh you know that that was another highlight for me yeah i, I liked the theme song it was oh, yeah. so catchy um yeah well, see, i remember fat albert more from school mm-hmm. than from saturday morning because like that would be the cartoon whenever they'd pull out the projector or whatever, they'd show Fat Albert cartoons. Right. And that's so always associated Fat Albert more with, with school. Uh, with those very special episodes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, then you have, like, the, like, kind of like the originals. You have um, Tom and Jerry, Wiley Coyote, and Roadrunner, and uh, Bugs Bunny, and all of them. You know, those kind of classic uh animation cartoons uh that was still you know held up today i think for the most part um but yeah so it's it's you know saturday morning cartoons have always been like that happy dreamy serial moment Mm -hmm. uh, of my life um and so i i often try to find some cartoons to catch up with and recapture that for myself um but I'm really glad we got a chance to sit with you and talk about Saturday morning cartoons. Um, in the comments below, talk about your favorite ones. If we didn't mention them, talk about them. If we besmirch some of your favorites, mm-hmm. tell us why you liked them. Maybe we'll get them a second chance. Probably not with Snorks, but maybe. We'll, we, <laughs> we might be East Spade. I'll never um, forgive you, Turbo Team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But we, we love hanging out with you. Come back again. This is Total Geek Live from Baltimore, Danny, Guy, and Kaiser. It's all geek to us. Bye. Bye, guys. See ya, see ya.